Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so today I just want to do a little kind of get ready with me using some new products. Some I got in my, or I showed in my last haul. Um, and some that I might have had for a while, but just haven't used yet. And I just kind of want to put on a full face with you guys today. So that's what I'm going to do. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful weekend. I don't know if this video will be up before the weekend is over, but if not, I hope you have a wonderful blessed week as well. So hi, hi, welcome back. Welcome if you're new, but yeah, I just went through and just pulled out <laughs> a little box of stuff that I haven't tried yet to play with today. And I'm going to do a full face. Now, as you can see, I don't have anything on not even any eyebrows or anything. I just washed my face and here we go. So I'm going to start out with a moisturizer. This is from Pharmacy. It's so funny. I have this magnifying glass, you guys. <laughs> I swear I am so blind, okay? And I wear contacts. So I have contacts for, you know, seeing far, but up close, it's just, it gets worse every day. So I have this magnifying glass and someone in my comments was like, KK, get a magnifying glass. I'm like, I got one. I just don't use it all the time. So, but yeah, this is from Pharmacy. It is their Daily Greens um, moisturizer. So I'm going to go ahead and use some of this right now. I don't think I've tried this. I know I got this in my boxy because with all the stuff I get from boxy, you guys, I do not buy. Well, I can't say I don't buy skincare because I still do, <laughs> but um, I don't buy anywhere near as much as I would if I didn't have boxy charm. It smells good. It. I don't really know exactly what it smells like. I used way too much. I think one scoop would have been enough because I have got a lot of moisturizer on my face right now, but it feels really good. It's definitely like a gel water, kind of like a thick gel water cream type of texture. But yeah, it smells really nice. I can't really describe the smell. It's not minty, I don't think. I don't know what it is, but it smells nice. So, and it feels good. Okay, so this stuff is really nice. I actually really like the way it feels on my skin. Extremely hydrating, but like I said, I did use quite a bit. So now that my face is nicely hydrated, I am going to go ahead and put on some of this Kosas Wet Lip Oil. I've had these for quite a while and... I have so many different lip oils and glosses and balms and stuff that sometimes it takes me a while to get around to stuff, but this is how this one looks. Came in a little three pack with three different colors. So let me show you. It came with these three here, if you can see those without me dropping them. So those are the three colors that came in the little three pack, and I'm going to be using this one here just so that my lips are nice and hydrated and you guys don't have to look at dry crusty lips through the whole video okay so like i said i don't have any brows on or anything i don't i have one new brow product it's like a brow gel that i got from ColourPop, i think but i'm not in the mood to try anything new for my brows today so i'm just going to do my regular brow routine using my brow or it's not a brow pencil, it's an eyeliner, but I use it for my brows from Pure. And then I'm going to clean them up with my Wet n Wild concealer. So I'll do that and then we'll be right back. Okay, so I have my brows on now <laughs> and I'm going to prep my lids. Now I did pick up one of the new Juvia's um, eyeshadow bases. So I'm going to go ahead and try this one out. This one is in the shade 2. So that's what it looks like on the box. And this is what the little tube looks like. Very cute. And since I'm not familiar with this, I don't know if I need a lot, if I need a little. So we gonna figure this out together. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on this brush here and apply it to, oh, ah. Just when it came squirting out like crazy, I remember hearing that you have to shake this up. Oh my goodness. Y'all, it just, 
it's like water just squirted out of here so just keep that in mind you do have to shake this up Ooh, child I could see myself making that mistake a lot because I never think to shake my eyeshadow primer <laughs> so yeah good luck with that <laughs> okay so I have some on my brush now Okay, it feels like it's drying down fairly quickly. Uh, so let me hurry up and blend this out. And since I don't know what kind of eye look I'm doing today, I'm just applying it all over my lid. And I'm gonna go in with this little sponge just to kind of make sure it's nice and even. Does anybody else find themselves with eyelash glue stuck to their lashes sometimes? And it's like I won't even notice it until I go to do my makeup again. And my eyeshadow primer will <laughs> make it show up because it'll make it light. So, yeah. Sometimes it's hard to get that eyelash glue off when you wash your face. I like the consistency of it and I like how it blends out. So, hopefully it'll be a really nice base for my shadow. Okay, so now that I got my whole eyelid prepped, um, so far I like it. I like how it blends out, nice even base, and it looks like it's going to be good for eyeshadow application. So, so far so good. Now for eyeshadow, <laughs> I had a hard time picking what palette I wanted to use today, you guys. Y'all know I have way too many choices, okay? But I did want to play around with one of my new little, um like the I can never think of the name of this collection it's like the relaxation or pamper me or something I don't know I'll put it on the screen but this one here is the bubble time palette from unique beauty and they have all these cute little palettes and this one I really like the little picture on here and the color story is just gorgeous so this is the color story in this palette. Really beautiful, kind of like aqua teal type shades. Gorgeous shimmer, so yeah. And it's only six shades, so I shouldn't have too much trouble trying to figure out what to do with it. But let me do some quick swatches just so you guys can see the color story. Those shimmers, oh my goodness, gorgeous. The shades of the mattes are really nice as well. That second matte I can kind of build up let me just add a little bit more to that one so you can see a true color but yeah this is gorgeous okay okay so let's go ahead and just slap some of these on my eyes okay so I think I'm gonna start out with the dark matte which is candlelight Okay, so far, very, very nice pigment. I'm not having any troubles blending it out like that. Um, okay, I think I'm going to go into Bubble Bath to add a little bit of this shade. So you guys know halo eyes are not the easiest for me to do. I do love how these shadows are blending like for real, for real, okay? I love the blendation on these shadows, okay? But we're gonna try to do a little halo situation today. I think the last halo eye I did was kind of like an aqua green or blue or something. I don't know, but I'm just in a halo kind of mood today, so that's what's happening um do i want to put down a base i think i do i want to do like a glitter glue just to make sure that these shimmers really pop so let me get my next glitter glue put some of that down and then i'll pick one of these shimmers okay so i'm just tapping a little bit of glitter glue right here or glitter primer right here on the center just so that the 
shimmers can stick and shine nicely. Not that they need it, but I just wanna make sure it doesn't fall all over my face. Okay, so I'm gonna go into this gorgeous, beautiful green shimmer here called Chill. Gorgeous. Okay, that green, aqua, whatever it is, it should pop in. <laughs> okay, it should pop in. I like that. That's pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, let me just take a little bit more of the dark green matte just to kind of try to blend out the edge just a little bit. Okay, so now I want to take a little bit of this shade here, exfoliate and just tap a little bit of that in the center. I don't know if it'll brighten it up a bit or if it won't show up because, you know. Oh, that's pretty, I can see it. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but it kind of adds like this like blue kind of hue, like a hint of be a hint of blue to it. Oh. Oh, that's pretty in person. Oh my gosh. Hopefully when I finish this whole face, you guys will be able to see it. Oh, that's gorgeous. I love it. Can you see that? Lord have mercy. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Oh, that's pretty. I love it. That's gorgeous. Okay. Best decision I made all day. <laughs> Oh, she's pretty. Yeah. Now I'm just cleaning up these edges a bit. Okay, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and clean up some of this mess so I can move on to my face. I'm going to start out with primer. So I'm going to go in with this Marc Jacobs primer. And this one is actually the Invisible Undercover Perfecting Coconut Face Primer. <laughs> so that's what it looks like. But before I go in with that, I'm going to clean up around my eyes a bit. Primer is very, very moisturizing. It feels like a moisturizer to me. Very, very nice. I like it. Smells very, very faintly like coconut. So I should be pretty hydrated for today, okay? <laughs> okay, so for foundation, no, no. I'm going to conceal a little bit because these dark circles is kicking in today. I'm gonna go in with some of my Essence Camouflage Concealer. Very, very good, affordable, like drugstore brand concealer, but I'm gonna do that just like under my eyes, a little bit around my mouth, as you can see here. Really, really dark, so we gonna camouflage first. Okay, done with the prep work. <laughs> and I like to just kind of let that sit. I really don't blend it out because I just go in with foundation like in the other areas and blend it up into the concealer. So I just kind of let it sit. And I like this applicator because it makes it easy for me to put the concealer exactly where I want it. Okay, so for foundation, I'm going to be trying this Gucci foundation for the first time. Um, I'm really excited, kind of anxious. Hopefully it will work for me. So the shade that I have you guys is medium deep 410W. So I'm gonna shake this up. Okay, so that is what the foundation looks like. I'm not sure if I wanna use a brush cause it is a little thick or my sponge. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go in with a brush first. My like, you know, angle type foundation brush. And then if I don't like it, I'll go over it with a sponge just to blend it out nicely. 
<laughs> okay, we're gonna have to do some put in some work to make this match, okay? Because she is very, I don't know, orangey, golden kind of. So, well, let's see what she looks like after I apply her and blend her out. Definitely a nice warm undertone. Hence the W, I'm sure. Ooh, I smell that perfume. I smell that perfume. <laughs> yeah, it's hitting pretty hard around the nose. And I'm not used to my foundation smelling like perfume. So hopefully it'll dissipate and not give me a headache. Okay, so actually it is not bad with the brush um, and the application. This color is a little bit, I think, warm for me. I don't know, maybe when it settles in a bit, it'll match me better. But for now, I think it's a little bit too warm for me. <laughs> anyway, but the finish is really nice. The scent. I can smell it. I don't know if it's strong or not, but I can smell it. But I like the finish. Um, it looks like it is kind of drying down to like a semi, mm, I don't know, more like a natural finish because it's not really matte and it's not super dewy. So, so far it feels kind of like a natural, slightly dewy finish because i do see a little bit of shine you know a little bit of dew but the coverage is really really good <laughs> really good and yeah i think i would need an undertone that might be a little bit more neutral maybe so anyways but this is the finish so far so let's move on to i kind of want to go in with a sponge a little bit before I move on to my concealer, just to kind of mesh everything into my skin. But I don't want to take off a lot of foundation, you know what I mean? But I want to see if the sponge will kind of, y'all know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> y'all know what I mean. Know what I mean? Okay, so, yeah, that looks good. Y'all let me know what y'all think. The color's a little off, but just the foundation in general, I do like the finish, and the coverage is really good, so. Okay, let's move on to concealer. I have this Natasha Denona concealer that I got in my BoxyCharm, so that's what it looks like. And this one is Transfix Matte Concealer. I have the shade 18WY. Okay, so it looks like this concealer dries down kind of quickly because it's already drying down <laughs> so i might have to apply some more just to kind of get it to loosen up but yeah this is one where i would need to apply blend apply blend because it does dry down rather quickly okay first impression thoughts on the natasha denona concealer um, it dries down fast, so <laughs> I would say apply blend, apply blend instead of putting it all over your face because it did not want to budge. Once it dried down, it didn't want to budge, so it took more effort for me to blend this out. But what I will say is it has really good coverage. Um, I feel like if you don't have like a lot of dark circles and stuff like this, where I, you know, pre-concealed, 
this stuff definitely has some super duper coverage so it is nice for that i might would get this in my skin tone shade just to use that to conceal my dark circles because it does not budge <laughs> at all and it's nice coverage so first impression thoughts it's a good concealer just you know don't put it all over your face and let it sit because you won't be able to blend it out since that gucci foundation is not my perfect shade it kind of has you know just throws my whole face off but we're gonna fix it y'all we're gonna fix it so to set under my eyes and in my highlighted areas i'm going in with the huda beauty cinnamon bun loose powder that i just picked up recently try this out okay so this is what it looks like really really nice shade I'm gonna see if this will do any brightening under my eyes or if it will work for all over because I did buy it just to brighten you know set my brightened areas let me just kind of blend this out a little bit before I set it Ooh, this powder has a scent to it as well <laughs> that I can smell. Oh my goodness. My face is smelling like a perfume factory today. Sheesh. Hopefully I don't get a headache because I'm not used to wearing makeup with perfume in it, you know? Not used to all the fancy stuff. <laughs> Them drugstore brands, you know, they stuff just smell like makeup. <laughs> But these bougie brands want to put all this perfume in here, okay? Oh, this is a nice powder, but it is very strong on the scent. But so far, it's looking good. I like it. Smooth out some of these pores on my cheeks. So this color actually looks like one that I could use all over my face, to be honest with you. Um, just looking at it under my eyes, it's setting very nicely, but I have a pressed powder that I want to use to set my face today. So far, I'm really liking this powder, this Huda Beauty powder. It has some pretty good coverage. Very nice. And it sets very nice. It's very, very fine. It's just, it's nice. I like it. It looks like it's very smoothing and kind of blurring as well. Mm -hmm. I like it. Okay, to set my face, I did pick up this Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. Um, this is actually a blurring powder foundation. It says 12 hour wear. And with the coverage that I have right now, I definitely don't need a powder foundation, but I bought this to use as a setting powder. So it comes in this little black tin, has a mirror in here, and this is what the powder looks like. So looks very nice. So let's check it out. And I don't know if I said the shade, but that is the shade that I have, if you can see that there. Okay, very nice powder definitely has an uh, extra added amount of coverage which I did not need today but I still wanted to try it out you know to see how the color would work for me and actually I like it I'll have to try it again of course with a foundation that matches me better but the powder itself I feel like it's a very very nice powder I had to take that foundation off of my lips I hate having foundation all over my lips this don't look cute on me. Okay, so to bronze, I'm going to be using my new Juvia's Place bronzer. It's called Bronzed Bronzy. <laughs> this one is in the shade Dark. So see if I could, there we go. So yeah, this is what this looks like, you guys. And I'm so, so excited. Um, Since my foundation shade is so off, I think I'm going to go in with the lighter shade first. Typically, I go in just with the dark one, but I'm going to go in with this one first and see what it do, what it do, okay? And we'll go from there. Oh, 
Okay, come on, warm. All right. I see it. I really didn't think that I would see the lighter one, you know, on me. But, honey, I see the warmth. Okay. <laughs> I see the warmth the coming through. Yes, I do. Oh, that's nice. Okay, let me calm down on my forehead, okay? <laughs> but that's nice. Yes, make me look like I just came from the beach, honey. I know that's right. I know that's right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, Julius. Now look, I know y'all see this foundation that had me looking crazy starting to come together when I'm warming it up, honey. Yes, it's coming together. It's coming together. What? <laughs> Quit playing. What? Y'all see this? Come on now. Come on. If y'all don't pick up this bronzer, what? Come on now. And they got all the different shades, all the different little duos. Yes. Come through, Juvius. Okay, so I'm just over here making my face match my body that's better that's better yes now i look like my head goes with the rest of my body okay i'm not even gonna go into the dark one honey we're just gonna chill with this and just kind of act like we went to the beach this weekend and okay took our little vaccinated self to the beach i'm loving it absolutely loving it yes okay you guys i got two blushes here both of them are from lys finally was able to grab some of these when they came back in stock from sephora and mm, i guess i can go with either one since my eyes are green well my eye look is green uh let's see here so this one is this one is passion so very very pretty that's passion a little bit more bold more vibrant definitely kind of fuchsia type shade and this one is inspire which this one is really really pretty too so mm, i'm kind of leaning towards this one just because you know corals and greens really go nice together and I think this might look nice with this kind of bronzed up face I have, okay? So I'm going to go in with this one here. And this is a cream, just in case you, you know, didn't know. But yeah, it is a cream. So that's what it looks like. Oh, that's gorgeous. Okay. Now with creams, I do typically like to use either my fingers or like a sponge. You can definitely use a brush to apply it whatever is most comfortable for you but I think I'm going to go in with a bit on my sponge just so I can get a feel for Ooh, the pigment <laughs> okay 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 let me blend this out okay um hello and I feel like it's one of those um creams that you know will work well with powder you know on top of powders or on you know talk speak spit it out okay okay <laughs> a type of cream blush that will work well um on top of powders as well as you know if you just have like a dewy look before you powder either way you know sometimes creams don't really layer well on top of powder but honey look at this what <laughs> you know i love me a nice little like dewy type of blush okay anything that will make me look younger and more awake and vibrant than i actually am okay because you know i can go in there and take a nap right now and it ain't no thing <laughs> I could definitely take me a nap right now, okay? And it is nothing, honey. But yeah, this here is making me feel bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, okay? Let me chill out, because y'all know I be going ham 
with the blush because I like to just add a little bit of color all over my face. But these cheeks, honey, they have got to be flushed. I have to look like somebody just, like my husband just said, oh, baby, what's going on? You know, get that little, what, what, boo, what's happening? <laughs> so, yes, what, listen, listen, this blush is really, really nice, okay? I'm glad I went with that color, too. It's really pretty. Okay, highlight. I have here, uh, it's a Bronzino from Tower 28, okay? I saw somebody showing this, I think, on Instagram. And, of course, for me, it's like Highlight City. But, yeah, it's Tower 28. It's called Bronzino. And I think I have the shade West Coast, if I'm not mistaken. Let me turn it around so you can see. But... Yeah, that is the shade that I have, and I just, I couldn't resist. I saw somebody uh, swatch this on Instagram, and I was on Sephora, like, immediately. Like, I don't have no doggone sense. It was just, oh my goodness. So, yeah, this is another cream product. Well, that was a disappointment. <laughs> what? Okay, hold on. Okay, so there we go. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I saw somebody. Theirs looked way better than mine does, though. Okay, but yeah, swatch is really pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and use this for a little bit of glow, a little highlight. But you know what? I think it's going to look really, really pretty with this blush. I mean, your highlight, it don't always have to be, you know, like you can see it from the moon. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to tap a little bit of this right up here just to see if I can get that nice, like healthy glow type of look on the up. Oh, yes. That is exactly exactly what I needed in my life okay just you turn to the side and it's like oh did somebody put the light on her no that's just her face she's just naturally glowing okay yes that's what I needed that's what I wanted so I mean you can see I do have a little bit of a natural glow already but this just takes it to another level and it's not too too aggressive so just tapping a little bit of that on. Okay. Yes. Yeah, that's perfect. That look at that. Yes. I like that. I'm excited today, you guys. I haven't done like a sit down, chit chat, get ready with me type of video because I mean, quite honestly, I just haven't really been feeling it, you know, you might not think so from watching my videos, but I'm really not a chatty, talkative person. I'm really not. I'm really kind of like to myself and just low key. And so, you know, I'm just kind of excited today trying out these new products. I love makeup. You guys know that. And I know a lot of you guys love makeup just as much as I do, if not more. And so, you know, when you get to play around in it and just kind of have a good time using some new stuff, look at that. Now look, okay, it's, it can be really fun, really enjoyable. So I'm trying to get back to that, you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy these videos and that I'll actually get views on these videos because, you know, filming editing uploading all that stuff it takes hours i mean literally hours to do so you know i really hope that you enjoy them and i want to do more of them so just let me know in the comments you know some of your thoughts opinions if you like these type of videos you know and hopefully <laughs> they'll get watched but anyway yes i'm feeling the tower 28 bronzino it's working nicely to highlight my little face here, okay? So, what is next? 
Um, let me finish up these eyes. So let's go back to the palette. Okay, so went ahead and let the curls loose a little bit. <laughs> let the girls hang a little bit okay so let's get back to these eyes um since i'm trying out a new mascara i'm gonna try out this la girl jet setter lash and go mascara so i think i'm gonna skip on the lashes today like what am i gonna be able to do that i've gotten so used to wearing them you know so but i'm gonna try out this mascara but first, let's finish up this lower lash line. I'm just going to smoke it out, but I do need an eyeliner. Now, y'all know me. The question is, do I want to keep it monochromatic or do I want to add a little pop of color? Okay, what do we want to do? What are we thinking? What are we thinking? It's going to be so funny to see you guys in the comments like, no, go blue. Because y'all know I want to do this purple for real. Mm. Yeah, we doing the purple. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I can't help it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not in a monochromatic type of mood, even though this palette is bomb. Okay. Okay. And this is one of the Beauty Creations pencils that came in that like huge kit that I bought and I showed it in my last haul. So this is one of those. Um, I mean, it's decent. You can see it there. It's decent. Um, yeah, it's decent. It's not my best. I think, honestly, my favorite eyeliners are the LA Girl ones. They're just so creamy, so pigmented. Um, I really like those a lot. Some of the ColourPop ones are really nice, but some of them, like, don't even show up at all and they break easily. So they're kind of hit and miss to me, but the LA Girl ones, for the most part, I haven't had any issues with any of the colors that I use. So this one here, as you can see, I'm just going over it, building it up, and it's definitely showing up, definitely pigmented. It's not as smooth and creamy as I would like, but it's working, you know, it's working. Okay, so going back into the palette, I'm going to take the dark green and I'm going to smoke it out with the light green just so it can kind of match the upper part of my eye. Okay, so now I'm going to go back into Exfoliate. Remember this shade here that I used to top off my halo eye? And I'm going to try and tap some of that in my inner corner. I'm not sure how that's going to look, but we're going to try it. And I think I'm going to spray my brush for that. Honestly, I feel like I probably didn't really even need to spray my brush, um, you know, for it to show up and pop, obviously, but um, it's probably helping to alleviate any fallout if there would be. So I think this is probably like my favorite shade in the whole palette. I mean, they're all really nice. The green one that I put down first, gorgeous, but this blue, it's just... I love it. So, okay, let's jump into that mascara and see if it's going to give me enough to wear. <laughs> I won't feel a need to put on lashes. So this is what the packaging looks like. Super duper pretty. And this is what the wand looks like. Okay, so my first impression thoughts on this mascara. I feel like it did add a little bit of thickness, of course, a little bit of length. I don't feel like it's anything amazing as far as mascara goes. It just looks like a decent mascara. The wand holds a nice amount of product, so you don't have to keep going in and out of the container. But yeah, I don't know if just mascara is going to be able to hold this eye look. 
<laughs> but we'll see, we'll see. I might have to put on some lashes for Instagram, okay? But I mean, first impressions, I think it's a decent mascara, you know? Yeah, so I don't have many lashes to start with, but I definitely feel like it's, you know, a decent drugstore mascara. Okay, so let me go ahead and finish up with these lips. So I'm just gonna go in with a brown lip liner from NYX. And then we're gonna try out this new lip gloss that I got in my boxy charm. Very, very pretty color. Mm, not sure how I feel about it with this particular lip liner shade. Maybe something a little darker I might prefer, but it's gonna work today. <laughs> very pretty. I like it. I don't like the teeny little applicator because with applicators like this, I find that I have to go into the bottle too many times to apply it. But other than that, it feels really nice. It's not as shiny as I would say for a lip gloss. I think that it's more of like a kind of glossy or shiny type lipstick because it's very opaque, but it's very comfortable. Okay, and lastly, I want to try out this Charlotte Tilbury. What is it? Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. So I'm going to try some of this out today. <laughs> So this is today's face, you guys. I must say, I really, really like it. This bubble bath palette from Unique Beauty, oh my goodness, y'all, you see it, you saw it. <laughs> it is so nice. I really, really love their shadows and I can't wait to try out the rest of their palettes. Honestly, I can't say that I tried anything today that I didn't like. Just thinking about it, I liked everything my favorites are the eyeshadow palette and the blush for sure okay but everything else came to oh in that juvia's place bronzer hello <laughs> so yeah i really like everything today and that's kind of rare so really excited about that as far as the gucci foundation strong scent the huda powder strong scent as well but I will say that it has dissipated. I don't have a headache or anything like that. I can't smell anything. And for the foundation shade, I definitely feel like I can work with it, you know, with my bronzers and all that good stuff. So I'm excited. I like everything I use today. Very, very happy about it. So that's it, you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like. Definitely subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I will see you on my next one. Toodles!